Today we're gonna take the, the engine out. That's uh, the morning right now. Just get prepping a little few things. I printed up a, uh, a cheat sheet to take out the engine. Um, there was a YouTube video by All Muscle that uh, summed it up pretty well, so I wrote down all the steps here. Uh, it's just gonna be a quick video. Um, I'll probably just do a time lapse of taking the engine out. And then uh, afterwards, I'll give some uh, some notes, some comments on, on the whole process. All right, so let's go. I forgot to add, uh, instead of lifting the engine out, I'm actually going to take the, the front bumper off, or the, the crash bar here. Take that off, take the radiators out. So I'm actually going to just pull the engine out, you know, instead of actually lifting it up and over. I think that'll be a little bit easier. Um, hopefully it'll fit through there. film it but uh, in the progress or the process of getting the engine out but hit a little snag here um, these tubes were not strong enough at all um, they're just up in the air now so gotta get some stronger tubes but yeah Really close, but so far away. All right, so after uh, that disaster, going on to a new disaster in the making. Um, I read a Reddit post that said that two by fours are four times stronger than one and a half inch 16 gauge tubing. So uh, I'm going to take that guy's word for it. Those are two 2 by 4s so it should be eight times stronger, but we'll see. Alright, so surprisingly the, the boards didn't break, but my weld right here did. So it was kind of just that little piece of metal taking a lot of the weight and it uh, just snapped. So I'm going to have to beef that up a little bit.
All right, so I think down there that the engine mount is getting hung up. That's why the engine is weighing so much. That's what happened to my leg. It was going good, it was lifting it, but. <sighs> right, last try for the night. Alright, couple issues down here. This harness was wrapped around the, uh, the AC unit, so that was getting hung up. Also, there's a ground right here. This guy right here. That needs to come off the engine mount, so I gotta get that off. It is uh, coming out a lot easier, so it definitely was hung up on the frame. That's why we're having an issue getting it out. Okay, let's just do an update. So I lowered the car down, it's resting on blocks. That wheel broke, it's completely off there. So that's really not good. Not happy about that. Now I'm gonna lower this side of the car down. Just get a little bit more clearance get the engine out. <sighs> it's very stressful.
Alright, so I built this uh, frame around the engine, uh, 2 by 4s This is just in case uh, this thing falls. At least that will kind of take the impact. Also, once we're uh, ready to put this on the ground, that'll at least protect the oil pan a little bit. Um, probably put some more supports back here once I, I clear uh, this rail right here. Alright, I'm really close to getting this off. Just gotta pull it back a little bit more. We'll see what happens. I'm a little nervous. How pretty is that? All right, well that feels a lot better getting this on the ground. When it's hoisted up there, just the amount of weight that high up, it gets scary. But that's it. Now I just gotta strip all the other stuff out of here. Pedals, we, you know, the power steering, all that stuff. Um, then, I think we're done. Get this Mustang out of here.